me poppin', I'm a blossom I don't need a bop, mine to my robbery I'm official, on a dotty You can hit a room, room in my robbery I'm not sorry, no, I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem I don't need a dis- Hey Royals, so before fully fully hopping into the video, I did want to come in here and say something really quickly. I do want to go ahead and thank Dossier for sponsoring today's video. We have two new scents. I've been showing you all some scents for the past couple of months here and it literally, like I said, every single time I get scents from Dossier, I do so much better at picking out scents. So I'm excited, well, I'm not gonna lie. I've already smelled the scent, and you guys are gonna see my actual natural reaction later on in the video when I actually open the box. I did a full talk and breakdown of Floral Rhubarb, which is the dupe of Marc Jacobs Perfect. Let's get into it. Actually ended up editing out the one that I did for this one only because I just didn't wanna overdo it. Two that I ordered were Floral Rhubarb, which I have been hearing so, so many things about uh, Perfect by Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the notes so you can understand. So the top notes are rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. The middle notes are daffodil, milky orchard. Base notes are cedar wood, blonde woods, and musk. Concentration is 18%. Literally smells amazing. Like this is, um, you'll, you'll, you'll find out later, but this is my new favorite. So I think it's gonna be this one and then this one, which you guys can clearly see, I've been using a lot of, which is the Floriental Vanilla, AKA YSO Black Opium. And then the one that I just ordered as well, which is Citrus Green Apple, AKA, this one is inspired by Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue for Women. I'm gonna smell this one again, because to be honest, when I smelled it, it was right after Floral Rhubarb, so I don't think I was able to actually fully appreciate it for what it is. So I'm gonna spray it on my wrist right now and see how I feel about it. I really like this too. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did say in the video that I really liked it. It's like a very mature and I just feel like sexy scent and clean. Like I really, really do enjoy this scent. Like, I feel like this is like a special occasion type of scent, but this one definitely I will wear every day, both of these. Definitely make sure you guys check them out. If you're not familiar with Dossier, they're a company who turns designer perfumes affordable. So you can get this, which I believe if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Perfect by Marc Jacobs, that one costs about $150. And through their site, you can get it for $29. You can find a dupe for nearly like any perfume you're looking for. Like most of the time, if I've been seeing something, or if I hear something about it, I'll go onto their site and I'll search it and then it'll come up. Some of the things they do not have, but of course, make sure you go and check. I'll go ahead and link everything down below. I also have a discount code, so make sure you all use my discount code. Just remember, ladies, like, treat yourself. Whether that means buying a few bottles of perfume from Dossier or a new face mask, a lip scrub, a new book, a journal, like just truly, truly treat yourself because we deserve it. We work hard every day. And even if we don't, even on the days where we're lazy, we still deserve it. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get out the way. I just want to go ahead and introduce you all to those perfumes because they smell amazing. I'll see you all in the next clip. Hey Royals, welcome back to my channel. As you all see by the title, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just basically very much sick and tired of trying to pretend that like your girl has life together. Like everything's just productive vibes. Now I'm gonna say it's all pretending because obviously the stuff is happening, I recorded, but I haven't been in the mood to be productive like whatsoever. That's why I haven't been my typical consistent self. Like I've just been, I'm struggling. <laughs> like normal you guys remember like I spent so much money on this machine I've literally never opened it didn't haven't taken the time to like test it out to try it like just nothing I'm it's just terrible I just have earlier I came back in the house and I just put stuff on the floor like that's that's not okay it's not normal it appears to be just a little bit ghetto to me a little bit ghetto you know a little bit hood other things that I do I'll lay in bed all day sometimes showering it's like a bit much you know what i mean like showering for me can be like a workout i'm doing what i need to do i'm showering i'm brushing my teeth i'm wearing my mask i'm doing my order i'm coping basically i decided like okay tatiana what is your problem and i also think i'm taking a break from therapy more every session i just get a little less into it i saw this thing that said the way to build confidence is to make a promise to yourself and keep it and like that's what i want to do day is just I'm only cheating myself most of the time that I've made like self-care vlogs or anything like that on my channel it's been very much surface it's been very physical like I get my hair done I get my nails done but like none of that 
helps how I feel on the inside. Don't get me wrong, I don't even feel like super sad all the time. I just feel like really incomplete. Like I feel like lost and unmotivated and just like out of it. <coughs> so yeah, obviously I wanna fix this. That's why I pick up a camera. Me cleaning my apartment is not going to fix it, but it's a start. Let's crack on, let's get her done. Sometimes I wish you never told me that you love me. Cause I feel like I got too much to lose. And you tell me baby that's an excuse. And I wish I believed that that was true Sometimes I wonder if we meant to be I guess that we gon' see I ask myself, I wonder if I wanted too much Overthinking mind up in the clouds Would've done to get us down, I don't know You know my daddy wasn't around To make my mama smile for excuses But honestly, I don't know why I still use them I told myself I would not lie in the music Alright, so now I'm about to go ahead and cook dinner. I knew I didn't really have much ingredients left, but I guess I decided on like a veggie pasta. Let's get it. We're gonna start with some oil. And actually before I turn on this heat, let me go ahead and start cutting up some vegetables. Looking like so far. Garlic. Very good. Not a damn breath. Let me see if I can record. Out here. Is that like a hands free? Yes. You know the timer. Start countdown and then it starts. Ready? Set. Go. What really is my breath? Please don't take me shit that's like the hate you peeking. And I'm not driving nothing that I gotta stick the keys in. One that how I got it, stick the keys in. One that how I got it, I'm not driving nothing that I gotta stick the keys in. One that how I got it, swear I swear I got the bitches calling my phone. All right, good morning. So today we have a hair appointment. So it's currently five. I'm about to go ahead and take down my braids so that I can wash my hair and blow dry it as well. This is sad, right? On her site, it doesn't even say that I have to wash and blow dry my own hair, but I'm so traumatized that I feel like, duh, you gotta wash and blow dry your own hair. Like what? That's sad, but that's how I feel. So let's get into it. Trip 
up to Mars, hold you tight in my arms all the way. I look crazy, but we on our way to the mill room because I got some new clothes down there. Bruh, look at my package. Because if I open this and I'm missing something, we're gonna have a problem. Like, literally, gonna have a problem. Okay, so I let my hair air dry majority of the way through. But now we need to open this box. I need to blow dry it because I have to leave out in like 25 minutes. But I wanna make sure my stuff is here because now I'm a little bit annoyed. I got a lot of stuff, y'all. So these are the accessories that I got. I got this scarf, this necklace, this necklace. There's a few necklaces with each. And these are braces, I believe. Two pair of glasses. I don't even remember what they look like. This purse. I believe this is something for like, like a chain for your pants or something. And I got these shoes. I hope I can fit them. Headiest heel ever, but I still feel like I'm gonna get them. We'll have to see, cause it's how they look with shit with socks on. I don't know, child. Trying to kick it with ya Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark We get 106 and park You be my rock, I be your big tigger I'm trying to show you off I'm trying to flaunt ya I'm obsessed with ya Baby, I want ya Let them watch ya Tell them they can tune in and Show them how I Put our love on a billboard So you just need to look out your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display Yeah Shot it from the rooftops. I gotta jump out of a window. Hopefully, this is good enough. I'm about to change real quick and then I'll see y'all in the car. So, the girl that's doing my hair just texted me and said she's running 15 minutes behind, which annoys me a little bit because if I were 15 minutes behind, I would have to pay. But you know, that's just how the beauty industry goes nowadays. But if I get there and she washing blow down my hair, I'm gonna really just be so excited because people don't do that nowadays. You know what I mean? Well, I'm here. And so when I was coming here, I just knew that I was about to get like a low ponytail, but a part of me is kind of thinking about getting a high one. You wanna be somebody. Want us to believe that you're somebody to see. Searching for a feeling. And you would give up anything. I never came back and showed you all the final result but this is she this is her my edges was a little bit different but i changed them but i like it at first i didn't like it i'm gonna be honest like i did not like it but i was just like the edges are a bit much but they grew on me and i started trying on the clothes that i ordered y'all oh they so dang cute they're so cute like get into get get it get into it get it get it get into it anywho that's besides the point I'm about to go to the grocery store. That black stuff y'all seeing up there or the dark spot. That's because when I was younger, I bust my head open. I had to get stitches, honey. Can you believe that? Let me call my auntie, actually. Hey, Ange. Hey, hon. What's up, girl? Girl, I got, I, got a new, I got a little braided thingy. Whoa. Wait. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. I was telling them how the reason why I have this is because I bust my head open. And I was wondering if you remember. You Do you remember that day or no? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I remember. No, you know I remember that. That was crazy. Like, and I ended up talking to my aunt for like almost two hours. So, it's now 8 o'clock and dinner's done. I made some spaghetti. Now I'm just watching Married at First Sight. Also, I have an eyebrow appointment tomorrow. Excited. 
Hey y'all, so, excuse my scarf. Um, at first I didn't like my big edges and I don't like my big edges and I don't want them to get messed up. That's funny because, you know, that's the thing about life. Like you really have to try things in order to see whether or not you like them because as far as lashes, like one time, like the first time I got lashes, ooh, what am I doing? First of all, I used to think lashes were so ratchet. I'm like, I'm scared to get them. Like they might not look cute on me. And then I had got them and I really loved them. I'm like, hold on babe, like do I need to keep getting these? Like, basically you just never know. You just have to try. I'm on my way to go and get my eyebrows done and I'm so excited because everybody knows like fresh eyebrows, it dang near give you a new face to be honest. Like you just be looking different in the face. But just remember, this is my before. My eyebrows don't really get that bad because my eyebrows aren't thick. Only thing thick on me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, because that's not even thick. So it's just that. My eyebrows are perfect, okay? Every time. Nikki kills it every time. I'm going to be honest. What was it? Oh. Every time. Every time. I'm just a messenger. Oh, look at that. G-Wagon, so cute. So, oh, let me tell y'all. So, since we're here, originally my dream car was like, uh, okay, well, let's take it all the way back. It was a Jeep Wrangler. But then, I was like, at this point in my life, well, the first reason I stopped I know y'all really don't care, but I'm just telling you. Anyway. The first reason I stopped like caring about the little Jeep Wrangler is because I was hearing that it was like a bad car and stuff. I'm like, I don't have time to be dealing with no bad car. Like, I like, I want my stuff to be reliable. You know what I mean? Like, cute, that's fine. Trendy, that's fine. But like, I want it to be reliable. So I'm like, I'm kind of over it. But then I got over it. I got over that part of it because I'm like, by the time I get my dream car, like the little unreliable stuff, I don't think it would really phase me as much because I'll be able to afford it. Even though I don't like wasting money regardless, but like, you know, it wouldn't be as much of a stress, I guess you could say. So that was number one. Then my next thought was, it's just not cute enough for me no more. Like I like the Jeep, don't get me wrong. But like, I started looking at the uh, G, G wagon like, okay, that's a little more grown and sexy. You know what I mean? Like the Jeep, it was my dream car in high school because I feel like driving a Wrangler in high school, like you cannot tell me a thing but now that's how i felt about the g wagon but now i really like range rovers if y'all can't tell i really like trucks now i really really love a good range rover like i just be seeing them and i be like you're alone. like where have you been on my life like i i didn't know that i was in love with you you know what i mean so like that's how i felt about that so i figured i would just let you guys know because i'm in love i found a new love and it's not a man. <laughs> it's a truck. Mm -hmm. Camera's about to die, but good morning, Royals. I've been trying to like work out the best work life balance. My way to work right now, I have my bonnet on. I'm about to take it off. I, I woke up this morning and I was honestly chilling, showered, got dressed, or whatever. I did all that and then I cleaned up the entire apartment. I just need to take the trash out, sweep them off the floors. Yeah, so I'm excited because I ordered. Oh, so some more updates. I have been dragging my feet when it came to like furnishing the apartment and not because of like money or anything, but just cause I don't know. Like I was just like, ooh, this is my life. <laughs> but I ordered a bed and a couch. And you know, that stuff, it takes a little while. No, my bed I believe will be here before the couch. Yeah, the bed is gonna arrive between the 27th and the 3rd the 27th of may and the 3rd of june so we shall see couch um i'll have to check because that's on a whole nother website and i'm driving right now so i'm not even about to do all that i don't know if i said this already but i'm on my way to work and then after i get done with work i'm about to go back home finish cleaning up the apartment and then after i finish cleaning up i'm about to get into some work y'all uh, i'm hoping that i can get this to last for two weeks okay because at that point i'll need my hair done again and honestly y'all i had been doing really good like i had my natural hair out and left it alone for about two months if not a little more took out the trash started loads i went ahead and hung this right here for the keys for my keys to hang up and stuff um yeah like i said i started a load washers going 
cleaned everything's clean when i get back i am going to mop the floor and then do the other load right there right now i'm about to go ahead and leave and go to the gym i'm not going to film at the gym because you guys have already seen me work out in this video oh and i also went and picked up my packages so once i get back we'll open those packages as well but just wanted to update y'all it's hot getting this working okay bye all right, so I'm back now. We're gonna open up this stuff now. I know for a fact this right here is dossier, but um, you guys are gonna see the dossier clip probably in the beginning of this video, but I wanna open up so y'all can get my like actual natural reaction here as well. Dossier, first, I just always get so excited to get dossier. So we have one, we have two. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So this one is, um called floral rhubarb and it's inspired by mark jacobs perfect now i have been seeing this ad for mark jacobs perfect every every place i turn i feel like and then i saw this one youtuber i don't even know who it was like the next day literally dossier had reached out to me like what do you want and i was like oh perfect so let's smell her oh what is this you know what this smells so good. It reminds, this is what it reminds me of. This is my new favorite. It low key remind me of like a more sophisticated and grown woman version of like a sweet pea. You know what I mean? And I used to love sweet pea. I know every time I do this y'all and I'm like, oh, this is my new favorite, but I just, I keep getting better with time. Every single time I order a perfume, it gets better. Like my, hold up. I put this in my purse now because that's how pressed I am. This was my uh, black opium. Look where I'm at. Like that's the problem. I've been killing sis. But I'm gonna give her a break and start killing her because that smells so good. And I have these other packages to open as well. So we about to go ahead and get into it. Ain't nothing but to do it. So this is from Amazon. Oh, uh, okay. This is for, um, cause I wanna start doing TikTok. So I got myself like a little um, tripod for my phone. gather some things we're gonna go out to the patio and we're gonna paint and then i also want to try to take some pictures so i have my tripod my phone
low-key didn't actually finish painting because I decided to kind of like start smudging the colors together and I actually liked how it looked as like a muted background but then I was going to paint over it but then my uh, cousins called me because my cousins came into town and they were inviting me to come over so that we could just hang out so that's what I did so I went over there I didn't get back until a little bit after 12 so that was the end of that I'm going to probably finish painting that on my own time because I actually really did enjoy painting especially outside on the patio right now I just want to do a pedicure. I was going to do a manicure and a pedicure, but I really feel like I need to give my nails a break. I'm going to paint my toes. So that's what we're going to do. So I already have all of the stuff out for my toes. Here's the rest of the stuff. you all already know this but like everything that i'm used to trying and everything that typically works for me when i'm going through stuff hasn't exactly been working venture out and find new ways to do so treating myself painting reading or journaling and not just going to go get my hair done or going to go buy clothes even though that stuff is quite important too because look your best you feel your best on top of that we also need to treat our soul give our soul a glow up as well because that's important we need to take accountability for the things that we do wrong hold the people in our lives accountable continue to work that journey until everything kind of figures itself out me trying to work on becoming my best self i know that doesn't mean that i'm going to be happy all the time i know that doesn't mean that i'm going to have everything figured out as long as i feel like a little bit clear mentally i feel like it makes the huge i just want to go ahead and thank everybody who made it this far in the video like i really appreciate it this was a long one and this has been a journey that i've been going on on and off camera there's so many moments that i didn't even film and there will continue to be moments that i don't film because some stuff is just quite sacred you know what i mean but i do want to just show that like transparent side of myself i guess because sometimes you know i get on here i suck it up and i turn on the camera which i'm going to continue to do don't get me wrong but i do want you all to know that like if anybody else is feeling how i'm feeling you're not alone 110 percent whether you're a student whether you have a nine to five whether you're an entrepreneur like no matter what part of your life you're in we all experience this and i just want people to understand that like i am going through it just like the rest of us are like these are special circumstances there's just so much going on i just can't even put it into words sometimes but like at the end of the day I'm okay and like I keep finding ways to make it happen and I've literally like I haven't done it yet because I know once I make this promise to myself that it's done so um but that's what I'm gonna do tonight like tonight I'm gonna actually sit down and write a list of promises that I will not be breaking to myself so so that I could boost my confidence so that I can better myself so I can better like the people in my life you know what I mean like I just it's really that time and 
she's not playing like because sometimes it really does take you to to hit low a few times in order for it to make sense and i'm not going to say this is the last time that i'm going to feel sad because it's not and it is what it is i'm human we all go through life we all have our own separate journeys you know what i mean but i just want us all to relate on the fact that we're not perfect and we do have bad days if you're new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below any questions comment concerning videos and all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video oh psych emoji of the day is going to be um the girl with the hand like this because baby flex flex i'm about to go to the gym bye